Ever since March 2nd when I saw that they were adding new characters to the remaining three waves of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. We're good. New Yoshi's Island? What? Yoshi's Island? Wait, Birdo? Birdo! Oh my god, Birdo! Birdo! What? They're adding new characters? What? No way! That means there's gonna be new characters. Oh my god, new characters, dude. Holy shit. I was ecstatic. And it got me thinking, what's going to be the remaining 5 characters that they add? So today, I'm going to predict the remaining 5 Mario Kart DLC characters that are going to be added. And just for the record, I didn't look at anyone else's rankings before I made mine, so if some predictions match up, then that's why it's just a coincidence. Also, just so you know, these are my personal opinions. You may not agree with them, you may want Pink Gold Baby Peach to be the next character. I'm not going to agree with that because that's a dumbass idea. But just keep in mind that these are my personal opinions who I personally just would love to see added as characters in the next wave. So without further ado, let's get started at number 5. Coming in at number 5, we have Nabbit. Now I know what you guys are thinking, Nabbit, that is a terrible choice, what are you thinking? But just hear me out guys, hear me out, hear me out. So in case you don't know who Nabbit is, Nabbit is a reoccurring character who at first appeared in New Super Mario Bros. U as just an enemy. And then after that, he became a playable character in New Super Luigi U. Which in that game, he's also invulnerable for some reason. I don't know why, it's just pretty funny to look at. Since then, he's also made appearances in other Mario series, such as Mario Golf, um, Super Smash Bros. He does an assist trophy, Mario Party, Mario Luigi, and most prominently, Mario Kart Tour. So, he's tipped his toes a little bit in the Mario Kart realm. It won't be his first time in Mario Kart, so I think he should make a return. I also just think he'll be just a really fun lightweight character since it, the lightweight category is prominently just flooded with baby characters. So I think a lightweight new character would be really nice. Nabbit shows a lot of expression in the games that he is in. He's like very scrunkly, you know, like a little naughty little dude. Also, he's just super adorable. Look at this little guy. Also saying dang Nabbit every single time he hits me with something in Mario Kart is just too good of a joke. Like, that is just too good not to- not- it's just too perfect, it's just too perfect. Overall, I just think he would be a nice addition to the roster, a great little obscure character that I think everyone would enjoy. Now let's move on to number 4. Coming in at number 4, we have King bob -omb. Now we all know him from Mario 64 and bob -omb Battlefield, but I think he'd make a really nice heavyweight character. Plus, just like Nabbit, he's also been in Mario Kart Tour before. King bob -omb actually doesn't make that many appearances in Mario games anymore. The last one that I can think of is mario golf super rush now aside from his recent addition mario golf super rush he's also been in a lot of mario parties uh, mario kart ds and mario kart tour smash bros okay you know games like that but of course everyone remembers him from super mario 64 obviously honestly i just think he'd be a great addition to the heavyweight section of the roster it would also be nice to have another boss character in mario kart that isn't part of the koopa family now let's move on to number three Coming in at number 3, we got Kamek. Now, in case you didn't know, Kamek was originally supposed to be a part of the Mario Kart 64 roster, but got cut for no reason. After being cut, Kamek was replaced by Donkey Kong. Nintendo probably thought Donkey Kong would be a better and more recognizable character for the roster than an obscure side character. Since Donkey Kong has his own games and Kamek was just a side character in the Yoshi series, this was a smart choice. But I think it's time for Kamek to make a comeback. I think it would be amazing to see Kamek shoot those PlayStation symbols in the newest Mario Kart over 25 years later. Now let's move on to number 2. Coming in at number 2, we got Diddy Kong who appeared in Mario Kart Wii but skipped Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and hasn't been back in a Mario Kart game since 2008. Not including Mario Kart Tour, of course. Now when I asked my mom which character she wants in, this is what she said. Hey, mom. I knew she's old, but I didn't know she looked that bad. Mom, what? if you want, um, if you could have any Mario Kart character in the next, like, in the next five DLC, which one, which Mario Kart character do you want? Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong? Which, in my opinion, makes no goddamn sense because Donkey Kong has been in every single goddamn Mario Kart game under the damn sun, but Diddy Kong has been left out for a decade and a half. It just makes no sense. That's like having Mario without Luigi, or Toad without Toadette. It just leaves a gap, and it just feels weird having one without the other. Diddy Kong honestly was a really fun and solid inclusion to the Mario Kart Wii roster, so it would just be really nice to have him back. And trust me, this won't be the only time that I talk about a character that I went back that has not been seen since Mario Kart Wii. But that's about all I have to say about Diddy Kong. I would love to have him back, and it's a shame that he hasn't come back yet. Alright, without further ado, let's move on to our honorable mentions. 
So the honorable mention spots are strictly characters from Nintendo that I would like to see in Mario Kart that aren't Mario characters. Just like how Isabelle and Link are in Mario Kart, but they aren't Mario characters. So if they are going to add more Nintendo characters into Mario Kart, then these are the two that I would like to see. And the first spot goes to Kirby. Now we all know Kirby has the adorable pink puffball and Sakurai's brainchild, but I think he would be perfect in the kart racing game Mario Kart. I mean, Kirby already fits so well in other spinoffs such as Smash Bros that I think he would just be really adorable and a great addition to Mario Kart. And no, I'm not biased because he's one of my favorite video game characters of all time. Okay, maybe a little, but that's besides the point. He would be great in Mario Kart, okay? Let's be honest here. And my second spot for the honorable mentions list would have to be Samus. Samus is just cool and badass as hell, and it would just be really awesome to have another heavyweight female character. And just like Kirby, Samus is a huge hit in Smash Bros, so I think it would be nice to have her as an inclusion in this other spinoff as well. Alright, that wraps up our honorable mentions, so let's move on to number one. Oh come on, you knew it was going to be Funky Kong. He's the most infamous Mario Kart character and the best oddball inclusion of any game roster ever, and Nintendo needs to bring him back alongside Wii, Rainbow Road, and Wave 6. I mean, look at him, he's Funky Kong. It makes no sense why Nintendo would add an obscure side character from the Donkey Kong series to Mario Kart Wii as an unlockable, but it just fits so well. Every single line he delivers is by far the most enthusiastic and funky line in the whole series. He just screams expression, literally. Yahoo! Not only that, but Funky Stadium is the most kick-ass track in the entire Mario Kart Wii OST. This character is just so infamous now because of the Mario Kart Wii tasks and speedrunning videos that he just has to be added. It's just part of the community now. Funky Kong is literally part of the Mario Kart community now. There's literally no other character in the whole world that I'd rather have in Mario Kart right now than Funky Kong. It just makes perfect sense. And those are my predictions for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course DLC packs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your predictions down below and have a wonderful day. Peace out.